Okay, so this is my tutorial about rope flying. Um, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you the basic aspects of actually flying in Humphrey's Belt Tension, which are altitude climbing, crouch flying, free falling, staircasing, which we don't actually really use, and normal pro, pro flying. So, first of all, I wanna say something according to my last video because I forgot to actually explain how to pre strafe. So, about pre strafing, as you can see, my um, pay attention to my velocity here. So, you can see I'm at, I'm at zero velocity right now, and if I walk, you can see I'm at 190 speed. My normal walking speed is 190, and if I sprint, you can see that my walking speed is 320, right? So, if I start walking 190, start jumping, you can see I accelerate. And same with sprint, accelerate, but a little bit faster. But this is where pre strafing comes in handy. So, if I start walking and I tilt the circular motion to the left, for example, for, uh, to there, you can pay attention to my velocity. You can see how from 190 it spikes up to like 200, 220. Th this is what is called, it's called pre, pre strafing. So you can see how I gain velocity, and this time with sprint, you can see how it almo almost goes to five, uh, 500. So if you combine this either left or right, now, you can accelerate even faster um, with a pre strafe while bunny hopping. So yeah, I recommend practicing pre strafing. And let's get on to with um, prop flying. I'll go to Kanazo 1 and let me just come up here. So, in pro flying, there's two props that you're mainly gonna fly on. You're gonna fly on. Um, this exact piece that you see that I'm holding right now, this is the good piece that from Barrows that you're gonna play on, and you're gonna play on a pallet as well. So, normal prop flying. Oh, uh, to clarify, every prop in Half Life has a set velocity of 1000. If the prop goes above 1000 velocity, you will lose uh, control over the prop. So let me try and demonstrate it. If I start um, flying, you can see I go over 1000 and I lose, I completely lose control over the prop. So, um, to prevent that, you're gonna use, as you see here, I use crouch. You can see my keyboard. Um, whoops. So, as you can see, I gain speed, crouch. Crouch and crouch, crouch and crouch, and you can see that I gain, I have control over um, the prop. This is what we call crouch flying, which you're gonna use a lot. I recommend practicing it, and as I said, the other prop that you're gonna fly on is a pallet. Let me just get to it. So this is the pallet, you're gonna fly on this as well, like so. So, about altitude climbing, so what altitude climbing is, is the prop gets tilted up at like a 45 degree angle and you start flying upwards, like, come on, yeah like so. This is technically uh, audit playing, but it should be like much faster. And if you wanna like do free falling, you can just let go of everything, and you can see I I'm not touching anything, and this is called free falling. <laughs> yeah, it looks kind of weird, but it does the trick. So yeah, th this is free falling, and staircasing. I shouldn't bother explaining it since we don't actually use it, but yeah. So these are um, the aspects of uh, prop flying. Usually in time you're gonna 
You're gonna learn how to utilize even smaller props. Let me just grab this pallet and bam. You can see this piece. Like, yeah, this piece. You can see I can fly on it. Then you can see if. I get a better one. Not this. Um. Wait. Yeah, there we go. So, as you can see, in time you're gonna learn how to fly on even smaller props. Like, Gron has a huge hitbox, so you're gonna be able to collide with um, s even smaller props. So yeah, I recommend practicing, practicing prop flying and like drawing from bigger props to even smaller uh, props. Though using smaller props comes with the downside because you may lose control over them like much much easier. But yeah, you can like do a lot of stuff with even smaller um, props. So yeah, this is basically um, Pro Frank, what I have to say about it, and I'll see you on the next video which I explain um, save warping.